Hey guys, thanks for joining us today. Mike Reynolds over at Weeby Autos. Uh, today we have a 1973 Mustang Sport Coupe. Uh, pretty amazing car. Uh, just has a little under 900 miles on it. Completely original and uh, just, if anything, an amazing point of reference for anybody. I have Freddie here. He's the owner of the car. Uh, he knows a little bit about it. <laughs> How you doing, Freddie? Good. Very good. So what do we got here? It's a 1973 Mustang. It's got 985 actual miles. 985. Documentation to prove wow. the miles. To speak to the last two owners of the car. The car was always stored indoors on the climate control. It's totally original. The only thing that was ever changed was the battery and the oil filter. Everything else was completely original, right down to the F70 14-inch tires. Wow. Hoses, everything, right? Hoses, clamps, <laughs> original spare, never down. Still got the blue paint on the spare. Wow. Underneath the car is pristine, all the factory markings and tags. Blue glow metallic. One of two made. Jeez. All the original paperwork, a build sheet, mm -hmm. bill of sale. The car was shown at the Carlisle Indoor Invitational twice. It went best unrestored at the Carlisle Nationals, Ford Nationals, a couple of years ago. That's a pretty prestigious award. The car's been trailered. It really hasn't been driven. I've only put about maybe three or four miles on the car. Jeez. And everything works. The car runs brand new. Definitely fantastic. the original interior, all the markings, all the tags on the door jam, initials from the inspectors who inspected it at the factory assembly line, Jeez. all the original date coated glass, there's nothing modified anywhere about this car, it's completely stock and original. Wow, definitely shows too. All the original weather stripping, it's got seat belts. Got some rare options that was was an option for 1973. 985 miles. <laughs> Sick. Documented. Jeez. It's unquestionable. It definitely looks like the real deal. You can even see inside these door jams here. All the nut and bolts and everything are 100% correct and like brand new. This really brings a new meaning to like brand new. <laughs> Even the latch mechanisms and stuff, look at that. Sick. So you got a little bit of documentation here? Yes. When I had 981 miles. <laughs> wow. I took pictures of the car before you showed it at the Nationals. When the car was shown at the Carlisle Invitation. Yep. In the present form. Twice. Wow. So uh, one of two built like this. As option, yes. It's 100% original factory car. I left the dealership in Pal Deckard Ford in Indiana in 1973. Man, that's cool. Got all information about the car. Yeah. How many they made. The car is like a new old stock car. I got a full Marty report documenting it. And a letter from Marty Auto Works out of Arizona. There were only two 73 Mustangs built with the 302 and that color combination yeah. with the vinyl top, Mach 1 tape stripes, power steering, power front disc brakes. Got the original window sticker with the car. Yeah. Not a reproduction, original window sticker. Wow. Got consumer information. Mm hmm. Yeah, like the little. Like what's here? Yeah. Got the factory build sheet. Yeah, that's cool. Original build sheet. State of Indiana. Mm -hmm. Title, original title. Wow, and the purchase that's the original. Name. Oh, a copy of the original title. Yeah. When the car was purchased new. Bedford, Tennessee. And all the. Uh, all the tax and, information. And, and tax information, for... inspection. The first year she had it, 534 miles. Jeez. She transferred it to a Stephen Cobb 
in, Indi in Indiana, got the title in his name also, the second owner. Yeah, that's cool. And when he had it, all the inspection with this, with the wow. with the mileage and everything on it. Yeah, that's cool. Then it was sold to Tom Mack in North Carolina. With 980 dealer, miles. Had 980 miles then. Gregory Sullins bought the car in North Carolina. Mm -hmm. a certificate of title, copy of the original title. Wow. Looks like the real one, you couldn't tell. It really tell. does, right? Registration card for the car. The car was in a magazine. I got the magazine article. Oh, that's cool. Right here. What magazine was it? Uh, Mustang Monthly, 2005. Wow. Full, must, full story about the car. Jeez, how cool. When Greg Sullins owned the car. Hmm. That's neat. It's got the uh, book goes on. story about the on. car. <laughs> yeah. It's got the factory color chart. They call it blue gold metallic. Code 3K. Wow. Got the factory original literature about the car. Deal of, you know, literature. Yeah. Motorcraft oil filter. Still got, still got the original type oil filter on the car. Of course, it's been changed. Yeah. But it's got the right one on the car. Here's when the car was at auction. Oh. With 981 miles. When this Greg Sullins bought the car. Wow. And when Tom Mack had the car, it had 980 miles. Jeez. Uh, I got all the judging sheets when it was judged three times and a gold in the Mustang Club of America. Yeah. I got all the factory judging sheets. Man, that's cool. Really didn't take much off the car. There wasn't really wasn't much to take it off the car. That's what it is. Jeez. Got the original license plate that was never used on the car from Indiana, still with still with the car in the plastic bag. Jeez. Because the car really was wasn't wasn't driven. But she looked like the, the spare's even been out or anything. Still got either. the blue on the spare. Spare's never been on the ground. And these tires you could not get reproduction. Wow. That's what I was told. That's cool. The tires look original too, huh? All the, all the factory markings up inside the trunk, stampings. Yep. The dealer's name where it came from in Indiana. Pal Deckard. <laughs> that's in cool. Bedford, Indiana. Yeah, that's awesome. Underneath we got, uh, obviously it's all original in here, but I found this to be cool. Date coated stamp um, from your Unified Steel. But that was it's pretty a factory cool. stamp on a factory gas tank. Man, there's a little sticker right there on the rear, on the left. Original tires too, huh? Absolutely. Original wheel covers. It's got the markings on the rims behind it. Factory little inspection marks on the tire themselves. The date coated tires to this car. Jeez. This year. They even date coated. That's, you can't reproduce that. No. That's unbelievable. Oh, here's a factory uh, code yeah. mm -hmm. uh, marking. Still got the stickers on the side window. Man, that's cool. Jeez. Blue glow metallic. A lot of metallic in the paint. It's uh, fired up. Original down to the factory Ford mufflers, they coated mufflers, tailpipe. Wow. So that's what it looked like back in 73. Absolutely. All the hoses, distributed tag, no oil leaks in the motor, no noise in the motor. Still got the factory spark plugs, air cleaner element. Like I said, the only thing that was ever changed was the battery yeah. and the oil filter. Everything else is 100% new, you know, original. Yeah, and the battery. And the battery was changed. But it's got the correct battery in there. Mm -hmm. Original date coated factory, factory battery cables. Wow. With all the markings on them. That's incredible. Inspection markings up here from the okay. factory. I wonder what VW means. Oh, the same ones on the other fender yep, I saw. Yep, on the door too. VW. That was the inspector. Oh. The assembly line. Oh. It. Got a factory stamp, OK stamp here. Final test stamp, final test over here. Here's a little tag over here too. Yeah, that's a, they call it a buck tag. 
It's got a tag in fact, it's got a decoder tag in there. Okay. Still got the factory. What's that? Test. That was on the transmission, hanging off the transmission line under the car. Jeez. Transmission and chassis division. <laughs> oh my god, that's they cool. They called the stamp for 1973. Man, that's neat. Let's see. Pretty cool, man. All the original books with the woman's name who owned it. Car papers from the Ford dealer in Indiana. Yeah. It's got it all. Pretty cool. Car can't be reproduced. Pretty freaking cool. Even the door jams. Stick names in there. The WK did this one. It looks like it's got a little overspray on yeah, it. Yeah, that's how the factory did it. It's got, huh. the, it's got the 3M cement down here by the weather strip. That's how the factory did it. They didn't. They yeah, a little sloppy. <laughs> they didn't do it as you show car. Yeah. Car I like built. it like that though. You know, I built. wouldn't touch it. Incredible. Pretty neat, man. Oh, let's uh, we got some literature here as well. It's a story about the car. A little history on the car, basically. Yeah. Specifications. And the awards the car won. Some of the awards. Wow. Incredible. Well, guys, thanks again for joining us today. My name is uh, Michael from Weeby Autos. Uh, if you guys have any questions at all, just give us a buzz. We're at 631-339-0399. You can also check our website for more details and information. We're at WeebyAutos.com. And, uh, Freddie, thanks a lot for showing us your car today. Oh, you're very welcome. Definitely awesome. It's the best 73 on around, I was told, and there's not, no one, there's not one known to have as low as miles as this. That's no one. It's absolutely awesome. Well, thanks again, guys, and uh, have a great day.